Hello, my fellow nerds and sexual deviants. Just kidding about that last part. You want to know how to be the best Smash Bros player ever, correct? Am I correct? That's why you clicked on the video. These are top five tips to be the best Smash Bros player in the world. Cue the intro. <laughs> Alrighty, let's start off. Tip number five. Look, there's a five there. Perfect. How good's that? It's guarding. That might seem like a simple tip, but people just don't know things. You gotta know when to guard. See, that's not just the red bubble. That's not for show. Don't guard for too long, cause you'll be a dizzy little bit. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be fucked. Bang. Whoop, whoop. Just come on. See, couldn't get me. Oh, they can also grab you. It's not foolproof, but okay. Stop grabbing me, please. Try and do a video. If you uh, jump in the air, you can do a little. You do that, so you're invincible for about one second. Um, I know this because I saw it in another video, but uh, ignore that. You you can also directional go, so you can go back. Or if you put the direction to the left, you're gonna go lefter. If that's yeah, lefter. You can also roll. You hold it and you roll. Oh, look at that. Just get behind him. Look at that. Fuck off. So watch this. Watch it. Watch. Okay, I messed that one up. But moving on. Tip number four. This might sound like a pretty obvious one, but the tilt attacks. Uh, well, you don't face it that way. If you face it the right way, you're not going to hit your. You're not going to hit him. So you hit that way. That's the wrong way. You got to put it towards him. Look at that. Twenty-nine percent damage. Let me just Google if that's actually called tilt attacks. Yeah, they're, they're cold tilt attacks. You wanna, you know, you wanna try and finish him, and la la la, look, oh, he's not, he's not bouncing out of the stadium, I wanted to bounce out the stadium. You just, you just, like, it works heaps well as well if you, if they're on stop, but if you just hold that directional pad, it's bang, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at, look at it. So yeah, some people forget about the tilt attack. Bunny, bunny hop, tilt attack. I think now is just like a slide attack. Tip number three. This one, items. See, like, people just don't know items help. All right, so these things that fall down are, are Pokeballs. Some people will be like, oh, what's that? Is that a bomb? Shit, that's a bomb. These actually help you out in battle. So if you throw them, they actually um, will help you kill the, pe the people. Look at that shit. Holy crap, that's crazy. So yeah, don't be scared of the, um, <coughs> shit. Don't be scared of the bombs. They're actually not bombs, they're Pokeballs. The items help you in battle, that's my main point I'm trying to get at. Look at that Raichu just fucking surf the fuck out of him. Look at that, water and, water and electricity, that's double the damage probably. It's like putting a toaster in the bathtub. There's, there's numerous of items, there's this thing, looks like a, a little fetus in a jar. Let's throw, let's get some fetus jars. So these aren't your nightmares in a bottle. These are, these will help you. Look, that one builds a city. That thing is like a Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh card. Look at that. See, that's a good tip. This is not a, it's not a cheap way of getting five tips in. Fuck, how do I exit this? It's me, Mario. All right, guys, this comes to tip number, tip, tip three. Tip number two. Tip number three. What is it? Tip number... Th I've done this tip list a bit retardedly. I'm, I'm going... I'm descending. We're up to tip number two. Uh, spirits. So you can actually add spirits. You can auto pick them. I don't... And they actually benefit you in battle. It also helps if you don't tell the other player that you've put a spirit on. Because they'll be at a disadvantage. Which also follows into my first and final tip is cheating. If you want to be the best, you have to cheat the best. That's what my mum, my parents always said, and that's why they divorced, but <coughs> never mind that. Uh, yeah, so number one tip is ch you cheat. You just, boom, look at this. Make sure you, the second player you're with, they walk out of the room. They're like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. They're like, oh, yeah, no worries. I'll set up the game real quick. You just put them at 200% and just put yours to 0%. Leave it 0%. And uh, it, it makes it easier to knock them off the stage if they're at 200% damage. And maybe try to get them to not watch the intro as well because they'll see that they're at 200% damage. But be like, oh, no, I hit you. You didn't see me hit you. I just hit you really fast. That's uh, how good I am. But if you just literally just press the A close to them, 
they typically just fly off the stage unless they keep attacking you. But maybe give them an uppercut, you might miss it. But if you don't miss it, if you miss it twice, shame on me. Um, look at that, a tilt attack him. That was one of my other tips. Let's throw a Pokeball up in the air. That's also one of the tips I said. Look at that, he's at 273% damage. I've barely done anything. Fuck off, cunt. Use more items. That was my other tip as well, right? And you're pretty good. You'll win the game probably most of the time. I usually win like five out of ten times. That's how you be the best, really. And I'll demonstrate it in this game against Mega Brett Bowser. Yeah, so if you don't want to be spoiled, make sure you look at the ground for this next part. Just look at the ground. All right, so tip, tip number five, guard. Oh, you can't do shit to me. Tip number uh, four was uh, tilt attacks. Alright, wait, watch this. Look at that. Oh, he grab. Don't let him grab you. Tip number three was items. There's no items on this level, but that, that kind of ruins it. Stop, please. Tip number two was spirits. I've already got them. That's already one of us. Tip number one, cheat. You gotta cheat. Fuck you, you cunt. You're not gonna lose if you quit. 